Ira Aldridge, the first African-American star of the Shakespeare Memorial Theater. Arthur Ashe, the first African-American to win the U.S. Open in 1968, the first African-American to win the Belden Champion in 1975, and the first U.S. citizen to be inducted in the International Tennis Hall of Fame. Tyra Banks, the first African-American woman on the cover of GQ magazine. Halle Berry, the first African-American woman to win the Academy Award for Best Actress and the first African-American Miss World entrant. This is your local weather forecast from Friday, February 28th to Friday, March 7th. Be sure to tune in next week for your local weather forecast. This is news from Itawama Korean Technical Center. College Day Sunday is fastly approaching. It is for seniors and their parents. It is a one-on-one -on -one assistance to complete federal and state forms for college financial aid. It will be Monday, March 3rd, 1 o'clock through 7 o'clock p.m. by appointment. It will be at the Itawama Korean Technical Center. If you have any questions, contact your local counselor or contact Ms. Brittany Martin for an appointment at 662-862-3137. This is news from Tremont. This week, the Lady Eagles won the 2014 State Bowling Championship. Congratulations to the Lady Eagles. This is news from Dorsey. Teachers, if you have not already turned in your questionnaire regarding useful classroom strategies, please turn them in by the end of the week. Teachers, if you've not already signed up for the ball game duty this semester, please do as soon as possible. If you're interested in playing park and rec softball or baseball this summer with Fulton, there are forms available in the office. These forms will be turned in to the Fulton City Hall by March 7. Congratulations to our chorus group on receiving one superior and two excellent ratings yesterday. We'd also like to thank all girls who participated in the Dorsey Beauty Pageant last Thursday night. Also, thanks to Mrs. Comer and Ms. Collier and all the staff members who helped make the night a success. Our division winners were K-12, 5th alternate, Kylie Jones, 4th alternate, Emily McCaslin, 3rd alternate, Akira McDowell, 2nd alternate, Madeline Crenshaw, 1st alternate, Autumn Cooper, and most beautiful, Eva Beecham. 3rd to 5th, 2nd alternate, Brianna Neely, and 1st alternate, Leah Strickland, and most beautiful, Kerrigan Todd. 6th through 8th, 3rd alternate, Ariel Shumpert, 2nd alternate, Madison Collins, 1st alternate, Stephanie Heatherly, and most beautiful, Haley Brown. The last day to purchase a yearbook is March 7th. Yearbooks are $25. This is news from Antachi. Spring fees are not being collected and are due April 29, 2014. These fees help offset the cost of prom and the gap party. This fee is not associated with the school, but is organized by the parents of the class. Also, please fill out and return the parent information sheets for the class 2017 if you haven't already. Forms are also available in the MHS office. Mantachi Elementary Beauty and Boat Pageant on Saturday, March 1st at 3 o'clock p.m. in the high school gym. Admission will be $5. There will be a Mantachi Junior High and High School Beauty and Boat Pageant on Friday, February 28th at 6 o'clock p.m. in the high school gym. Admission will be $5. This is news from IHS. The Lady Indian Basketball Team will play in a North Half Tournament Friday, February 28th at 7 at home against Yazoo. Please come out and support the Lady Indians. Project Grad Organizational Meeting for Parents will be Wednesday, March 5th at 5 o'clock in room 13. Please encourage your parents to attend. Seniors, be sure you have a form to order your cap and gown. If you do not have one, please come pick one up in the office. They are $51. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, application packets for volunteering at the North Mississippi Medical Center are available in Mrs. Cook's office. Applicants must get three references to fill out referral forms. Fill out an application and get a transcript copy. Deadline is March 31st. MSU is hosting a fashion prep 14 exploration form from May 30th to June 6th, which will provide a fun, hands-on experience with workshops and, project, and projects all about the fashion industry. Cost is $525 and includes tuition, room, board, field trips, and a t-shirt. Applications are due April 15th. 
the Moody Blues Elvis Presley Fan Club is excited to announce the Elvis Presley Charity Event Memorial Dinner. It will be Thursday, May 15 at 6 o'clock p.m. in the Commons. Tickets are $35 and include a steak dinner and entertainment. Sophomore and junior ladies, MSU will be hosting MSU, the first Empower, Empower Leadership Conference, July 14th through 18th. A conference fee of $250 will cover room, board, and access to athletic facilities. Each high school can nominate five girls. Recently, former student Shelby Prestige, ICTC counselor Mrs. Brittany Martin, and I traveled to the WCBI studios in Columbus to discuss events at the Itawama Korean Technical Center. 100 episodes is a big milestone for most television shows. Now there's a program in Itawamba County that is celebrating that marker. Itawamba Career and Technical Center in Fulton is preparing young broadcasters for the next phase of their career. Misha Puckett, along with Shelby Prestige and Counselor Brittany Martin, are here this morning for our extra credit. Ladies, thanks so much for being here. <laughs> so how long have you been, you've had uh, experience reading the teleprompter before because you do that all in your program, right? Yes, ma'am. So how long have you been involved with the program? I've been involved since the beginning of my 10th grade year this year, actually. Mm -hmm. All right, and you're doing very well. Shelby, uh, you are a distinguished alumnus of that group, right? Yes, uh, you started in the same program. I did. Um, I started back in uh, when I was a junior in high school, and mm -hmm. I completed two years of that. And so. you're now a junior in college. Yes. So tell me about your experience being able to get sort of some real-world experience as a broadcaster. Well, definitely. I mean, students, I think, go into um, high school kind of thinking what they're going to want to do, but they don't really have the best idea. Mm -hmm. But I think the vocational classes definitely um, helps you out in the real world as well as just skills. Mm -hmm. um, it teaches leadership, um, teamwork, and it also builds up confidence, I think, for sure. So. Mm -hmm. Um, vocational classes definitely if even if you don't think you're going to be able to go into a program say mm -hmm. like wood shop or metals or something I think taking a vocational class definitely helps build skills that you're going to need in the workplace um, one of the things that you do uh, Brittany in th this mm -hmm. program what these young people are doing in this class helps you to recruit right yes it does um, part of their newscast helps us when we go into the schools mm -hmm. um, across the county I use part of their clips and um, they do a recruitment video every year, so that helps me when I go in. So the students can see exactly what they'll be doing when they choose to go into that program. So. Um, Nisha, for you, this program uh, has been a learning experience. You just started this year, as you said, but what sort of things have you all learned or what ideas did you have going in? And you thought, wow, I didn't know you did it this way. You know, when I first started, I thought that it was going to be really difficult working with the new IMAX and everything. But after a few weeks, you get used to it because, you know, you're part of a team that puts together a really good program for mm -hmm. students to learn about what's going on in the county. What's the big special thing for the 100th episode? Well, I think it's just knowing that you're... You're in a group. You're a part of history, really, mm -hmm. of a whole program. It's really awesome. So you all write all of your own shows and do all of that, right? Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, fantastic. Again, people can see this uh, online, right? Yes, ma'am. www.itawamaschoolnews.com. All right. Sounds great. Thank you all for being here. Thank we you. appreciate Thank it. Thanks for having us. There are those who dedicate themselves to a sense of honor, to a life of courage, and a commitment to something greater than themselves. They have always 
defended this nation and each other. They still do. The few. The proud. The Marines. Everyone at Itawama School News would like to thank you for tuning in. Please send us your upcoming announcements. Teachers, please send your news or upcoming events to schoolnews at edamwamba.k12.ms.us. You can also fax us at 662-862-3138. Thank you in advance for your support.